do I say? <laughs> this is, so I just got to judo. Um, haven't been in a gi since Thursday and I kind of miss it when I'm not in a gi for a very long time. It makes me very anxious. Being in a gi to me is almost like getting into your favorite t-shirt. It makes me feel comfortable and safe and warm. My gi is one of my favorite outfits. I know that sounds really lame, but it really is. If I could be in a gi all day every day, I definitely would do it. I think it's one of those things where I don't have to think about it. It actually makes me feel very confident about myself. I'm gonna go to practice right now. See if I can catch some practice for you guys. As you're watching my vlog and kind of going through my judo practices with me, you're probably going to be wondering, wondering what some of the throws are called that we're doing in the videos that'll be upcoming and I'll try to explain them as much as I possibly can. So the throw that I'm working on in this video specifically is called an uchimata, which is an inner thigh throw and it's one of the original 40 throws of judo. To give you guys a little bit of an idea of how specific and how technical judo can be, I've been working on this throw for about three years now. I've probably thrown in a tournament with it five times nicely. So in this part of the video, I'm working on where my foot should be and Sensei Nakamura is just showing me how I need to be pulling up I should not be planting my foot on my first step. It should just be like a touch and go, making that first step a little bit lighter so my second step is quicker. And you'll see that when he's doing this, I need to be turning my head and I need to be pulling up at the same time. You think it's easy, but if you try pulling up as well as dropping your hips lower than the, your opponent, it's actually much more difficult than it seems. Hi Franz. This is my personal trainer Franz. She makes me work so hard <laughs> that I'm honestly in so much pain. Yeah, I hide behind this face and no one knows it's, how much pain I can Look at how like. sweet she looks. <laughs> she threatened to whip me with her belt one time. <laughs> I don't remember that. I said, what's the belt for? Right. And you said, to whip you. <laughs> Sit. Sit. Stay. I just got home from judo and I'm gonna be doing some laundry at this moment. I know you guys are probably thinking, why is she putting up a video about her doing laundry as an adult who has a full-time job, has a part-time job, goes to judo, goes to the gym, has to make food for herself, it's just another part of my life that has to get done. I've left it for a few days now and I'm like, check this out. This is all my whites that I've got to be doing and it's just, it's a lot. For me, it's a lot. It usually doesn't get left that long. So I'm gonna do some laundry right now and then I've got to make some dinner and then make lunch for tomorrow and then get to bed on time because France has put me up to a challenge to try to get to bed earlier than usual, which if anybody knows me is already a tough task. I don't sleep very much, which I think is negatively affecting me at this point. 
I'm gonna see if I can get to bed at least by 11.30 tonight. Wish me luck. It is now 9.30. I still have not showered or done the laundry yet, but I've definitely knocked off making lunch and dinner for tomorrow. <laughs> laundry, still not done yet. Getting on that right now. I'm definitely still gonna try to get to bed by 11.30. That is my goal tonight and I'm gonna make it happen. And I'm done showering and doing laundry. So we're still good for time. 11.30, I'm in bed, I swear. Because I'm working out more now and doing judo more frequently, I definitely notice that I need to be sleeping a little bit more. My body is not okay with the four and a half hours of sleep. It is now 11.33, which means bedtime. I did it. I'm gonna work at this nice and slowly so that I can accomplish my goal of sleeping a whole six hours every night. <laughs>